Wondering how to get ender pearls in Minecraft? This video is going to explain the mobs that drop them, villager trades, bartering for them from piglins, and how the ender pearls work. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to see when new videos come out. Let's start with where to get the ender pearls. The first way is by killing endermen. There's a 50% chance of an enderman will drop one ender pearl when killed. If you have a sword with the looting enchantment, this can increase the potential ender pearls by one per an enchantment level. The maximum level of looting is three. At looting three, there's a chance of getting four ender pearls from killing an enderman. Endermen can spawn uncommonly on land and caves in the overworld. They spawn rarely in nether waste and soul sand valleys. Also spawn frequently in the warped forest biome in the nether. In the end dimension, they spawn frequently on the end main island and commonly on the end islands. Endermen are a neutral mob. They can be provoked by the player attacking them or looking them in the eye. Apparently, the torso up to the eye counts as eye contact. The Endermen open open their mouth, shake angrily, and make loud sounds when hostile. If the player continues eye contact, the Enderman does not run, although it may teleport away. If the player looks away, the Enderman runs towards the back of the player to attack. An angry Enderman can teleport to the location of a player up to 32 blocks away. Because the Endermen are 3 blocks tall, one way to kill them is to be under a block in a 2 block tall space. Ender pearls can be found in the stronghold altar chest and fake portal room in the woodland mansion, although these are 1 to 2 ender pearls. The cleric villager has a trade selling ender pearls. The job site block for the cleric villager is the brewing stand. With villagers, they have 5 levels, and when you trade with them, they gain experience and level up, unlocking 2 trades at each level. In Java Edition, there is a 2 thirds chance at the expert level, the 4th level, and 100% in bedrock at expert level of selling an ender pearl for 5 emeralds. Ender pearls can be acquired through the piglin. Piglins can be found in the nether waste, crimson forest, and bastion remnant. If you are not wearing a piece of gold armor, they will be hostile towards you and become neutral when you are wearing one. If you drop or give a gold ingot to a piglin, they will give you an item in exchange. Piglins have a 2.18% chance of giving 2-4 to four ender pearls when bartering. The ender pearls can be used to teleport the player to the location the ender pearl falls. Ender pearls can be thrown by hitting the use button. Using the ender pearl will do 5 damage to the player. You can reduce this damage with armor that is enchanted with protection and feather falling. Protection can reduce the damage by 4% per a level with the maximum level being 4 and feather falling reduces fall damage by 12% per a level with the maximum level also being 4. Ender pearls can travel 30 blocks in java and 45 blocks in bedrock when thrown straight up in the air. It can also go 50 blocks forward if thrown at a 40 degree angle. There will be a 1 second cooldown before being able to throw another ender pearl. There will be a timer you can see over the ender pearl in the hotbar when showing the cooldown and when you can throw the ender pearl again. The ender pearl can collide with tripwire, cobwebs, vines, grass, dead bushes, ferns, flowers, saplings, mushrooms, minecarts, boats, end crystals, and nether portals. When the ender pearl collide with these, you will be teleported to this spot. If an ender pearl is thrown into the void, the player will not be teleported. Ender pearls will not be destroyed by lava. The player will be teleported into the bottom of the lava pool or lava ocean. Ender pearls can be thrown into the end gateway to teleport to the outer end islands. But if you make yourself one block tall, you can crawl into the end gateway without using an ender pearl. Ender pearls can be thrown into the exit portal in the end to reach the last place the player rested. When the ender pearl is thrown, there is a 5% chance for an endermite to spawn where it lands. Any enderman within 64 block line of sight will be hostile towards the endermite. There is one crafting recipe for the ender pearl that is blaze powder and an ender pearl can be crafted into the eye of ender. I'll have a card on the top right about the eye of ender. The eye of ender when thrown can point you in the direction of a stronghold. It is also placed in the item frame of the end portal to activate it so you can travel to the end dimension. The Eye of Ender is part of the crafting recipe for the End Crystal and the Ender Chest. 